This is an RTX 3090 GPU, it's a Core i7-10700. This is the machine that will carry them, a for you industrial computer, these are all the components we will use next. First, let's check out the motherboard, paired with an Intel 480E chipset that supports 10th Gen i3, i5, i7, i9 desktop processors. This motherboard has DP, HDMI, VGA ports, a serial port, for Intel Gigabit LAN ports, 8 USB 3.2 ports, and 2 audio ports on the coastline. It features 2 PCIe X16 slots, 3 PCIe X4 slots, 2 PCI slots, 3 M.2 slots, and a mini PCIe slot for expansion. We're currently mounting the CPU, cooler, memory, M.2 SSD, and other add-ons onto the motherboard. For the CPU, we are installing an i7-10700. As for the CPU cooler, we are installing a copper core dual ball bearing cooler. We are installing 432GB DDR4 memory sticks. Next, a 250GB SSD will be added for the OS installation. Now that the motherboard section is assembled, it's time to install it into the chassis. We will proceed to install the power supply, motherboard, HDD, and GPU in order. Installing an 850W industrial power supply for the motherboard, then mounting it inside the chassis. Regarding the hard drive, we are installing two ET mechanical hard drives. Next, we will plug in the cables and tidy them up. Then we will lead out the serial port that comes with the motherboard. Finally, the highlight is the RTX 3090 GPU, let's install it. Our high-performance control machine is nearly fully assembled at this stage. While most applications for public machines only need basic 2D graphic display, certain industry applications like machine vision, artificial intelligence, and deep learning require high-performance graphics cards for extensive graphic design and parallel computing. Different types of expansion cards can be installed to further enhance its application attributes. Which expansion cards would you like to use?